Okay, it's now 3-2. Um, so, yeah, my insta-win cross-wins didn't work out very well because I got cocky. Um, I've got Ancient Wilds and the Exalted Darkness left. I don't really want to use either of them, though, which is annoying. Oh, Delta Darkness is too powerful and Ancient Wilds is too weak. I want, I should, I need to use Exalted Darkness now. Because if I use uh, Ancient Wilds now and he and he also uses something else, then we've both got Exalted Darkness at the end and I don't want that. So, GLHF. I don't want a mirror match of Exalted Darkness because that's just boring. Mirror matches are boring. Don't ever do mirror matches. Boring, unless they're Soviet versus Soviet on Red Alert 3. Then they're really interesting. Noob. Noobs think. Real pros take action. Noob. Okay. Time skip. Okay, he is back. Okay, go. I did a dollar sign at the end, whatever. But yes, yeah, so you have heard it here for first, guys. Pan needs to visit toilets sometimes. So he is not an elemental being like me. Though maybe he is an elemental being, but he's more human than elemental. <sighs> I have done. Go, there we go. Guy playing Assassin's Creed there. What a hand, folks! That is an awesome hand, because I have got so many good low-cost low cards right here. Brilliant. That actually might sound sarcastic, but it really isn't. I really do. Exalted Darkness is really powerful uh, as a rush deck as well. And uh, with all these low-cost cards, it's pretty epic. I've got enough mana to deal with them as well. Honestly, if anything, I'd rather have had one swamp be another, another creature. 
Dismantle Prowler. He's also playing Assassin's Creed. Although, what city is that? That looks to be some sort of gothic city. Evolving Wilds. He is also using Exalted Darkness. You remember where I said mirror matches are boring? Mirror matches are boring. We've got mirror match. Brilliant. Who drew the best starting hand? Now that's the question. Hoping it was me. Because that is also a really good card. Gives me lifelink. And you know what lifelink did last time for pancakes? Gave me a bajillion. Oh, no. Light and green. He's already used this deck. You've already used this deck. No, he hasn't actually. Never mind, this is the token summoning deck, isn't it? He has not already used this deck. My mistake. My mistake. Well, I've got a much better hand than he has, so... Well, I don't know about that, but... I am Exalted Darkness. Exalted Darkness is overpowered. That's all you need to know. More of a power than Dream Puppets now. Dream Puppets was powerful, but now Exalted Darkness is the powerful one. As it, it proved by the fact that it beats my Celestial Light last time. And he had, we both had like 300 life. It was quite ridiculous. If you haven't seen those, by the way, you should probably watch those. But then again, I'm assuming everyone has. Because why wouldn't you start from the beginning of a series? Seriously. Okay, so he's got three mana. So he's... But then again, that was too evolving wild than this, so... Now you might actually be able to summon something. Who knows? But I do have a flying, and I do have a high toughness card on the field, with re which can also regenerate. Because Dewey Bound Dead are really epic. They're basically a 1-3 creature with regenerate for one mana. It's pretty goddamn insane. Oh, oh. Search your library for a creature card and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. But it's like, reveal that card, it's like, Great, but I don't see the card very well. My eyes are weak. I should really wear my glasses. That's the point. I need to get a... I need to blink and go to the opticians at some point. Whatever. What's he choosing? He's got his whole deck to choose from. Okay, I did not know what that creature was at all. Pause the, pause the video. Try and figure it out, I guess. What's this? The exile creature. Okay, that's pretty nice, but... Uh, I haven't got much mana right now, and I don't want to exile a creature, because I don't have one to exile. Um, okay, I'll attack with my Avon Squire, so that I can block with this guy if he summons a haste. Boom, three, it's got four damage. He's already on 12 health. No, 14 health. God, my math. My maths. And what does he play? Put a token on the field. Wow, that is such a good card. Honestly, that, I honestly think it's kind of a waste in his deck. But yeah. Okay, he's got four mana, now he can play stuff. Okay, so this was the card he had. Deals one damage to target creature with flying. Okay, so I've got to be careful about my flying. Never a creature with flying dealt damage by a trophy until this turn dies, but a plus one plus one on his turn. Okay, so he's just going to kill the Avon Squire off. That's his plan. Ooh, the Cathedral of War. I'll play the Cathedral of War and then I'll exile him. Exile means that he can't do anything about it. It's gone forever. Boom. Where is it on the board? Nowhere. There's, there's no way to get banished banished characters back. Banished monsters back. And I chose the Cathedral of War instead of a Swamp because the Swamp would allow me to play this thing, but the Cathedral of War is an Exalted, so it's a plus one, plus one on my group. So I might as well do that. And I can understand why he chose the Trophy Hunter because the Trophy Hunter would be, would be able to pick off my uh, Avon Squire, but unfortunately for you, Pam, it didn't work out. Now you've got five mana, you might be able to play something else. I mean, you've got four cards in your hand, for God's sake. Yep, okay, so there's your angel. Okay, tap an untapped creature to put tokens, so now he's getting his tokens up with the first strike vigilance, but he has nothing against flying, unfortunately for him right now. Which is brilliant for me. <laughs> What's this? Whenever a creature controls tax alone, you may tap the enemy. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, I'm probably never going to use it. But that, that's nice, thank you. In fact, I, I will cast it anyway because I want an Exalted on the field and this thing can't be summoned yet. God, I, f I don't, because I've only got one light mana instead of two, which is annoying. Choose creature to tap. You, get tapped, bitch. Because I might as well tap you. 
Really, its only purpose is to be an exalted. That is its only true purpose. Six. No. Yep, six. Boom. He's got one turn left to kill my card off before it's over. Wow. Wow, these last games so far have been just nothing but stomps. Either one side stomped or the other side stomps. It's the result of these promo cards, I tell you. It's ridiculous. Wow, he can't play mana or cards. Wow, okay. Well, he might as well attack with everything, and he... Sigil's Blessing, what does that do? No, he doesn't play it. Okay. Oh. Well, Sigil's Blessing does something, so I'm not going to block. Shit, I should have blocked, because Sigil's... Holy sh... Wow. Wow. If that had killed me... Wow. <laughs> he just dealt a lot of damage to me. That was evil. Hmm, pacifism. Nice. Don't you ever do that again, you evil son of a bitch. <laughs> that was scary. That was very scary. I thought I might die there. But, uh, I didn't, so, yay. <laughs> All those card effects, scary, man, but I win, and it was a stomp, as I said, even though I've only got six life left, it was an absolute stomp. He had a lot of good cards in his hand, but he just couldn't get the creatures out in time, I'm afraid. Exalted Darkness is, a, is the powerfulest rush deck in the game, pretty much. Better than Goblins by far. Pan overestimates Goblins, underestimates Exalted Darkness, I tell you. 4-2, I win, again! I've won two games of Magic the Gathering, two tournament formats, because it's obviously I'm the best and superior, and Pancakes is just an unlucky son of a bitch, who, I have to admit, I was unlucky twice, so I did get my fair share of unluckiness, but oh well. It's been me, Gameslay9980, no-brainer, he's rage quit again, ha ha ha, signing off.